What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to share a live example of reading candlesticks, reading the candlestick formations and how to gain insight when watching how the market trades intraday, gaining insight into what the next potential move might be by watching how the candlesticks are forming. I have a live trade from yesterday on Nvidia where I was finding some very strong buying pressure, a lot of wicks on the bottom side of the candles, giving me confidence that there would potentially be more upside on Nvidia. Now after seeing these candlesticks and after seeing these long wicks on the bottom side of the candles showing me that buyers were stepping up, I did decide to go long. That gave me confidence to go long in this position. Ended up with a very nice trade to the upside. So I want to share this live example today, show you guys what I was looking at on these candlesticks, how it gave me confidence to look for upside. And during that live trade, we'll stop. We'll talk about exactly what I was thinking at that time. So hopefully this is a good educational video for you guys out there. Now I want to say that this type of insight by reading the candlesticks can also be seen on things like the level two, the time in sales. But for me, watching those candlesticks, getting insight from them has been very helpful. And I hope that this video helps you out as well. So let's go ahead and start this video out by giving you some insight behind the trade, why I took the trade. Not only was it the candlestick formations, it was also a retest level that I was watching, the break and retest, which I love the trade. But on top of that retest holding, I was also monitoring those candles, which we will get into in today's video as well. So here's NVIDIA over the last four trading days. And our previous high before this big breakout was right around this previous 178 level. We had some previous highs around this 178, and I was looking to see if we break above that 178, can we get a retest of that 178 area? And if we do, is there an opportunity to go long? So we did see that break above 178 here, and we got that pullback on Monday morning. Monday morning, we got that quick pullback to 178, and you can see right here that we held that retest, and after holding that retest, that previous high here, that 178 level, we had a very nice continuation move to the upside. Now, what did I see to get confirmation to take this entry? And this is where those candlesticks really start to come in. So if I zoom in here to Monday, and I go to the two-minute chart, which actually, surprisingly, the two-minute chart, I did watch this day, and it did work for me quite better than the one-minute chart. So maybe this is something that I will consider changing in my trading. As you guys know, I usually watch the the one minute and I'll show you the difference between the one minute and the two minute chart here on Nvidia because they do show a little bit of a different picture and the two minute chart in this scenario was much better so here is the two minute chart and you guys can see that this green area down here that was my retest level that I was watching from a few days back I was looking to see if we get a pullback to that 178 do buyer step up and can I go long off that level well you can see here if I zoom into this two minute chart and we look at these candles we can see these bottom wicks on these candles. Now, what this means is that every attempt to move lower was getting bought up, right? Because the candle during that two minute period traded back to this level, got bought up. During this period, it traded back to this level, it got bought up. Even this very aggressive wick right here, we traded all the way back to that 178.20 and finished the candle all the way back up at 180, about a $2 candle that got completely bought up by that retest level. The next one, you can see once again a wick with the candle closing to the upside. So a very nice example of these wicks getting bought up, showing those wicks to the downside, and giving you that example of how these formations on the candles could give you some insight into the next potential move. So if you have some trouble reading that when looking to the upside, let's go ahead and inverse NVIDIA's chart. This is the inverse of that exact same thing you just saw. And now look at those wicks on the upside of the candles. If I saw those wicks on the upside of the candles, that would give me insight that there is a lot of rejections showing up, right? Every attempt that NVIDIA had to try to move higher, those wicks shot it back down, right? The sellers were stepping up here, showing you that there was a lot of resistance above, giving you insight that the next move might be lower. But this is a good example to some of you that may have difficulty looking at it both ways. Here, if you are more keen to looking at downside, that right there would definitely tell you that there is a lot of rejections above. Let's go back to the actual chart of NVIDIA. You guys can see that this is showing the same thing, but this is the real chart, and this is showing that there were a lot of buyers stepping up at that 178 level. So something that's very important, right? The break and retest is my strategy, but what is the confirmation to actually take the entry point? And that right there, those candles right there, that was enough for me to be confident that I could try a long entry here, have my stop loss under that 178. If the market breaks down below those wicks that I see forming, then I get out of my trade, right? I am no longer interested because that support has broken. 
But being able to monitor those wicks, seeing that the buyers were stepping up there on this two-minute chart gave me that confidence to go ahead and get in, something that you definitely want to learn and something you want to be able to identify as you're trading intraday. Now, let me go ahead and show you what this looks like on the one-minute chart versus the two-minute chart, right? So here on the one-minute chart, that's what we have up now. You can see those were full-bodied candles, and to me, that looks like a lot of chop, right? A lot of action that I don't want to have any interest in and something that I may not have gotten into if I wasn't watching the two-minute chart in this instance. So this is a really interesting example here of maybe that two-minute chart taking out some noise from the early morning volatility. And maybe that is something that I will continue to look at in the morning, that two minute chart, because in this example, I probably would not have been very confident in going long on NVIDIA if I was watching the one minute here. In this example, you can see this area was really just a bunch of chop, those full bodied one minute candles. But if we go back to the two minute, you can see here that on the two minute chart, these were actually some very nice wicks on the two minute chart, giving me that confidence to potentially go long here near that 178 retest. I think a pretty interesting case study there between the one minute and two minute chart, something that I would consider changing to if I continue to see this type of action and continue to sort of get that insight better on the two minute chart. So now that you have a decent idea of what I was looking for on NVIDIA, in hindsight, looking at those two minute charts, those wicks to the other upside showing that buying pressure let's go ahead and run that live recording i'll do some voiceovers during the live recording so i can really talk in depth about exactly what i was thinking during that time so guys for the next one minute i want to go ahead and observe these candles it is sped up eight times but let's go ahead and watch these candles together here at the open you will see as we begin to trade as we start to trade back down to that previous day close and the 178 retest Look at these candles that start to get bought up on the two minute, right? So there is your first example right there of a wick getting bought up. We can see that we went ahead and moved back lower, but that wick once again is showing up. So as I started to see this, I started to get interested. In this example right here, I was interested to see, can we hold over 180? And you'll see quickly, we failed that, so no trade there. Once again, we move to the downside, but watch this candle. This candle right here gets bought all the way back up right here. You'll see it get all the way bought right back up towards that 180. Once again, giving you an example of that buying pressure, those wicks getting pushed back to the upside. Once again, on this two minute candle, a wick to the upside. You're about to see it right here, wicking back to the upside, showing those buyers that are stepping up screen I might try to take some a so little bit of size on this maybe start with five contracts I want to see if that 180 really holds here all right I'm taking that I'm in the uh, 180 calls on it oh nice all right good quick push there you saw that 180 turn into support again there can it hold above 180 would love to see it hold above 180 here I'm gonna take a little bit off there. I don't like how slow this is. Taking a little bit of risk off just in case that flips back under. A little bit too slow, but still in some. Looks good. Make sure to take some off, guys. Nice little trade there, love it. Taking a little size off. Nice hold on NVIDIA 180. You guys saw that thing flip green over 180. I really like that, the way those candles were forming. That was. That was pretty nice. See if we can let this one run a little bit. New highs, nice. Good volume. Still very possible that the ES projects 4,000, which could pull this NVIDIA right back in on us. So let's make sure we take some off. Taking some profits. Holding some runners. Still in one NVIDIA. Just watching. No stress. See what happens here. I like my entry. I like my position. Still above 180. Looks good. Nice, man. NVIDIA, let that runner juice, juice it. Dollar's coming down now. Let's see. Yeah, you could start to scale out of some NVIDIA. I might get out there, honestly. I mean, that's a f monster push. Yeah, I'll take it there. $768 on NVIDIA. I'll take it there on that huge push. If that pulls back in, I don't really want to be part of it. 
So guys, I figured this was a really good example of reading those candlesticks and how it gave me confirmation to get into a potential trade. I hope that you got some insight out of this video, reading those wicks, reading that buying pressure on the downside of those candles, showing how those candles were being pushed to the upside, leaving a wick down below, showing that there was buying pressure and potentially getting you interested in an upside trade. Now at the base of this trade, it really once again was just a break and retest. It was a retest of my 178 level, but those candles was the confirmation for me to get into the trade. The confirmation is just as important as the strategy in itself. So this is an important thing to be focusing on as well to really fine tune your trading entries. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to go ahead and press that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more live trading, more examples like you saw in today's video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope you have a great rest of your week and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.